Hey everybody, HMV here. Playing some Kerbal Space Program. We're starting a new series uh, that's the same as the old series. Uh, the old series being the Anomaly uh, Surveyor contract thing. <laughs> um, I uh, point, point 13 or point 1, point 1, point 3, whatever the heck version is current for Kerbal Space Program, uh, has fixed all the Easter eggs. And... Um, I want to visit them all. We never finished the old anomaly contract um, surveyor thing because um, I had started having bugs in the game. Um, I'm hoping to not have those bugs by limiting myself a bit. Um, basically, if I have a contract available to do a survey, I'm going to take it and I'm going to do it. And I'm only going to do other contracts that uh, that go along with that. I'm not going to set up any infrastructure. I'm not going to I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to visit um, anomalies and try to make enough money in science along the way to be able to always get to the next anomaly. So that's my goal. I have no idea if it's going to work. It's just a normal game. I'm not doing anything special with the with the settings. Um, and uh, I've got a whole bunch of mods that we'll, that we'll explore on the way. I've accepted the first two contracts that you always accept. And I've already built a ship. And we're going to send Jeb out there on this thing. I think I'm going to... I'm going to Limit the amount of fuel he's got, because there's really no need for that. Um, and also, I am accepting names. Uh, tell me your name. You will be an engineer. Um, everyone in this game is going to be an engineer. Uh, period. <laughs> there is no, there is no other option. Um, engineers are going to have the ability uh, that pilots have, um, and then they're also going to be able to do engineer stuff. That's just the way it's going to work. Um, I might set people to be scientists as well. I don't know yet. Um, I don't really care too much about the science part. Um, I'm I'm only going to be doing science in order to, uh, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fast track science or anything like that. But let's go ahead and uh, and get Jeb out there. Jeb's going to be the first guy to go. But um, someone will be renamed to Jeb. Whoever says your first name, I'm going to rename Jeb to you. Then we'll do Bill and Bob and Val. Um, I'll change the genders to you know if you spe specify a gender. If you don't, I'll just make you a guy. And that's it. Um, so, Jeb, go ahead and hop on out. Do your standard. Oh, this this thing is working. Sweet. I don't even know how to make it work, but it's working. It, it just took that automatically. Let's go ahead and position and size. Let's get this up here. Sorry to... I was making sure all my settings were right as we got in here. Let's go ahead and hop in. It doesn't take a crew report by itself, so let's go ahead and take a crew report. And we've already got a world first contract of, oh, that's funny. This is, this was, I, I did a test launch to make sure all my mods worked. Um, obviously this is wrong. So let's go ahead and do that. And are you ready, Jeb? Three, two, one, launch. Okay. That was easy. Let's just go ahead and hit the parachute right now. Make sure uh, he comes back down fairly quickly. And I should have hopped out and uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and overwrite the existing crew report. Let's keep that because we can always, uh, on the ground, hop out and get another one. Can't do any VA. This is the most boring first mission ever. <laughs> but it's the first mission we always do. And while Jeb was up there, he noticed this thing. And eventually, uh, we'll get a contract to go visit it. We're not going to do that until uh, we get the contract because no sense going out there beforehand. But, uh, yeah, very simple. Jeb just got some experience. And let's go ahead and hop out again. Let's go ahead and take all the data out of here. Hop back in, take another crew report. Hop back out, drop onto the ground. Take an EVA report. And let's uh, recover Jeb and then recover his ship. We also completed the contracts, giving us a ton of money. Oops. Let's go and recover this. More science. We got 30 science, well, 29.8 science available to us. Let's check out these contracts. Um, like I said, I am only going to take ones that have the contracts on them here. So investigating down Airfield, we're definitely doing that. And then we need to find one that we can do on the way um, in flight above Kerbin. We're not going to be going that high. How about this? 3,000 to 8,000 traveling kind of slow. This is something we can do. Test the parachute under conditions that we can hopefully get to 
at the island airfield. That's just free money right there. Um, how about testing the flea? Kind of low, traveling kind of low. Probably not a good idea when we're trying to pinpoint hit something. Uh, we're not going to be orbiting or an escape trajectory anytime soon. So let's go ahead and test this Mark 16 parachute. That way, we, that way we, we just have a contract going. Okay, R&D. What do we want for this? We probably would like a decoupler. Yeah, let's go ahead and research the decoupler. We would also like an engine that we can throttle. And then we have enough science for one of these two. Do we really want stability or radial shoots? I think radial shoots is probably a really good idea right now. Um, we, we're going to want all of these. I almost want to save up for the swivel. Um, but I think we're going to I think we're going to go for this. I think we're going to go for radial shoots. Um, oh, that's hard to say. Nose cone, not necessary. Radial stuff, not super necessary right now. Tail fins, not necessary. We don't need those for this flight. I would really love the 0.8 science I need, or 0.2 science I need for this. Um, hmm. Well, let's go ahead and not research any of those, because I don't think we need them for this flight. So let's go ahead and reconfigure this guy. Let's go ahead and put, uh, let's say four fuel tanks. That's probably four more fuel tanks that we need. We're also gonna disable the top two so that they stay full of fuel, so we stay front heavy. Then I'm gonna toss this engine on there. Then this guy, I just realized I want a decoupler here. Although Jeb could probably land on the engine bell I'm not going to risk it. Uh, do we already have the thing on the top there? And then let's go ahead and toss this guy on here. Let's make sure everything is actually set up the way we want it. Uh, this top one needs to go here. Um, and actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put the parachute under that so we can decide if we want to toss it later. Um, this guy really doesn't have that much thrust to weight. It's mostly just to kind of get us going in the right direction. And I think I'm going to add a few fins here. I think we're going to splurge and do four. There we go. I think that can reach the island airfield. And I think I'm also going to rotate Jeb one two times. I think that's about what you need. Let's go ahead and save this and launch it. Okie doke. Let's turn on the computer this time and three, two, one, launch. And we have to, we have to get our contract up here so that we know what we're doing. Uh, where is the contract thing? There it is. Um, see, yeah, we are not 3,000 meters up. We are basically heading towards the island airfield, which is nice. We're going to need to enable these engines here. Okay. That's probably pretty darn good. <laughs> Uh, we need to be going a lot slower. I don't really see that happening. We're actually going to fly right over the island airfield, which is bad. Okay, we're going to ditch this. And I don't think Jeb's going to be visiting the Island Airfield today. <laughs> we didn't even get this because we were going too fast. I could have waited for it to slow down probably, but I think possibly when we slowed down, I might, I might, uh, I might actually get those, those parachutes. While we're out here, let's go ahead and do a crew report. Oh, it's not worth anything. There goes our engine, that expensive, expensive engine. The nice thing about this is we'll get some science for this. 
and the science will allow us to um, the science that we get from this will allow us to unlock that other node that I wanted. Um, although now I'm thinking that the drogue shoots might be a good idea here. Also, throttling down probably would have been a good idea. I've um, got scatterer installed. You can tell by looking at the uh, the nice fong effects on the the water here, which is just fantastic. Jeb, in theory, could swim over there, but I'm not going to make him. Let's go ahead and do a crew report here from the water. All that sweet, sweet science. Let's do an EVA report from here. Uh, keep that. Store it. I don't know if you get another one for swimming, but we're going to try it anyway. Keep it. Hop in. Nope, you don't get another one for that. So let's go ahead and recover Jeb because he can't do anything else. Okay. Now, do I want drogue shoots or do I want the swivel? I think I want drogue shoots. Honestly, it's kind of funny that <laughs> now that I have the science, I can unlock this. I want the drogue shoots. So we're going to we're gonna unlock those. Then we're going to go, we're going to use the exact same ship we used before. Only we're going to add two drogue shoots. right here and they are going to go on their own stage right here and we know more now about uh what we're doing here we need to we need to throttle down and possibly not even use the engine for that second one uh so let's go ahead and save this and jeb can hop back right back out and do his job okay turn the computer on uh three two one launch Get him to about a 45 degree angle. We're going to let the fuel run out. Looks like we need to turn a little bit north. There we go. Get the contract up here. Okay, now we're just going to let this thing run and see what happens. I'm actually going to throttle down and then we'll activate just these bottom two fuel tanks. Okay, now we're too high. Okay, now we're in the right we're in the right way, but we are going too fast. <laughs> I'm throttling on purpose in order to uh Ah, it's so hard to, to, I'm looking at the screen instead of the thing. Yeah, see, if I throttle up, I can control this much. Okay, we are out of fuel now. So now I'm going to hit the drogues. Ah, see, we're, we're too low now. I'm going to hit the drogues, which are going to slow us down enough. We don't even need the main chute now. Let's go ahead and try to aim ourselves a little bit. Probably not going to work. Just trying to work my way over here so we don't have as far to walk. Looks like it's kind of working. We're eventually going to run out of fuel. We also have the other parachute. Okay, last parachute. It's not going to slow us down enough, so let's drop that. And Jeb died? 
How did Jeb die? Did I wait too long and so the parachute couldn't slow it down enough? Well, another thing here is I'm going to accept deaths. So I guess the first person to, th <laughs> to think is not going to be Jeb. Um, I'm going to end it here uh, with this second uh, failure in our space program. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Go ahead and submit your names. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to release the next episode, but I'm HMV and I will, as always, talk at you later.